Africa. We are here to inspire you uh, with a very successful business lady who has touched lives of million people. And uh, we are here to take her journey. And uh, obviously, we want SMEs to learn from her. So I would really appreciate you pay a keen attention and take her notes and uh, scale up and be like her. Um, this is Prudence Okunika, the proprietor of Keroma, the producers of organic beer wines and beer juices, which are the best in the whole world. We want to know what inspired you uh, to do what you are doing today. Uh, this business was started by my late son, but of course, what what motivated me to continue doing it is to carry his legacy. But again, I came to realize Uganda we have a lot of fruits, and uh, they are not being utilized. You find in supermarkets they are artificial juices, they are imported wines. Yet we have our natural fruits here, which are not uh, utilized. So that one was one of my motivation to to do the, this kind of business and to I consider health so much why should we take artificial drinks yet we can make ours why should we take uh, imported wines yet we can make our wine from here ask you what are your top three success secrets that are that most so SMEs can learn from you because SMEs are failing day and how oh, they are failing in business and according to the current report of the UBOS, 60% of small medium enterprises fail. So to you as an experienced person in business, who has taken 22 years doing business, what are your success secrets and what advice do you give to the SMEs to be like you? That's a very good question. Number one is loving God. Once you love God, everything follows. Once you love God, you have hope. You know we fail because we, at times we lose hope. But once you are in God's hands, you have hope all the time. And that's why when I was starting this business, these people just take it as a name bearer. But it has a meaning that belief leads to lasting achievement. And when you love God, you are not going to cheat. Another one, don't do what, what somebody is doing. You say, eh, this one has succeeded in making wine, let me also do wine. Everyone has a calling. I did not plan for this. I told you how it started. I did not have a plan for it. But God knows what you can do best. I worked with finance for 30 years. I didn't know eventually I would be a manufacturer. But when it came, because I didn't do it to copy what somebody is doing. That's the mistake most people do. Don't do business because you have money. Business is natural. Some people make that mistake of doing business because they have got money. When you start business very big, that's how you start coming down, 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 down. But this is a business where I succeeded. I started it from my kitchen with five liters. And I started going up. Any small challenge, any small mistake, I correct it and continue. So it is not as bad as when you start from high, then you get a challenge, you get a loss, and the you start coming down. But as when you start small, you are running, as your business is growing, you are running all the mistakes. All right now, people come to you, say, hey, you are making this. No, you should have done this. But imagine they are making, helping you when you have started very high, you are putting a lot of money. Somebody said, no, you have made a mistake. You can't come out of it. God, passion, persistence. You know, we only fail when we quit. A successful entrepreneur who has been in business for 22 years, what mistakes have you made personally? And uh, what, what advice do you have for the small medium entrepreneurs so that they will also grow like you and transform themselves and transform the economy of Uganda and the world as large? You have to be careful when you are starting. You have a small capital and again you give your, your things on credit, you may end up closing. You separate finance, you have, you have money for the business and you are, you, you are money. That's how you can realize how you what, whether you are making profit or whether you are making losses. A business, when you start a business, you have to be serious that you have started a business which you want to grow. It's not a business for feeding you. You have to give yourself how much percentage 
of the profit you want to use. Because you want to, like now me, when I started, I wanted to grow. So you cannot grow when you are, when you are not managing finance properly. Is there anything you would want to do, that you would wish to do differently? Looking back at your success, is there something that you would want to do in a different way? Yeah, if, uh, assuming like now I go back to the way I started 20 years ago, definitely there are so many things I would do dif differently. The way you, there is a saying that trust if you, love many but trust if you. I would do that. Because the losses I made, it was because out of trust. I put in charge of my finance, and you have uh, that. I've put in charge of my car, something has gone wrong. By the time you realize to put cameras, what you have already lost. So, if I'm to go back, I can do it differently. Yeah. To be careful. So I would advise my small scale, even if you are relatives, you are your friends, let the business be different. Entrepreneur say they eat well, they start with the exercise, but you want to understand Madame Prudence. How do you start your day as an entrepreneur personally? Before COVID, I would start my day by going to church. Every day I would be at the Christ the King, because my office was in one day there. I would be at 6.30, 6.15, I'm in Christ the King. I start the day with the road. Covid came in where we could not where the churches were closed, so I had to bring Radio Maria in my house. It has the mass, it has the rosary. I cannot, I cannot touch something. Even my phone, even your call, I cannot touch it if I have not prayed. And I've also put that one among my uh, way why I have succeeded. Because when you start with the road, he guides you. Where to, where, where to go, what to do that day. Thank you so much for listening to me. I would like uh, people to succeed as much as possible to be better than me. Because I started this tough, tough, tough business. In fact, it was the toughest. Selling, doing a business of wine which is not in the country. It is only imported wine. Is, but most of you, the businesses you are doing are normal businesses, no businesses which are... When you handle very well, and let me advise you, when you see things are not, you are not making out, don't strain yourself. Don't go to the bank to borrow money to put in your business. The business should grow with its money coming from it, not going to get finance. Even if it is free money, don't. Just go... Uh, accept to go steady, don't rush, because when you rush, you will be reversed. That is my my message. It is not money. It is not. It is not money that starts the business and grows the business. It is the way you do it. You, I started with five liters. I could not go to two hundred liters before I make I reach ten 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 thousand liters ten. Uh, I started with 5 liters. Before I reach 10, I can't just go 200. You will crash. This world is a, uh, it's a journey. Why should you rush to, to do so many big things? Instead of successfully going slow, go, go slow. Why do you want to produce? You have just started with a bottle, but you want to have 100 bottles within two days. No. Go slow. Let that one bottle produce two. Those two bottles produce three. And you move forward. Don't rush. In the family who are doing business now, who were even doing business in P1 and P2, I've never been there without a business. It's even the way I was praying when I was young, if I recall now, I was, I was praying in business. It has ruined the I'm making hips that this is a heap of potatoes I'm selling. I put it, I build a small house, I, I go to the shop, I pick these, these clothes which they tear, that I'm selling the what. So, some, it, is not, it is not money that starts the business and grows the business. It is the way you do it. 
you, I started with five liters, I could not go to 200 liters. This world is, uh, it's a journey.